to me, X Canada Dances, and today's video is going to be an unboxing of four packages from D23. So, if you don't know what D23 is, it is a Disney convention held by Disney. It they hold it about every three years, I believe, and it pertains to the parks, the media, and the merchandise. So, I have one pack that's going to be a regular release. Um, and I just got it early and then three exclusives to D23. I'm so excited and also I just have to say I Would not have been able to do this without first of all the help from my mom um, She helps me pay for part of this and I'm gonna be paying her back once my paycheck comes and then also the Dolly paints on Instagram who is an amazing artist and We're kind of friends now. I hope anyway, but they offered or he picked he offered to because he had his um, he had somebody with him his first day of D23 he offered to pick me up some dolls and of course I said yes and uh, we came to an agreement on a price and I didn't pay retail but I'm gonna tell you guys approximately what the retail price of each of these was um, and I'm just so grateful because when I saw the D23 exclusive this year I was gutted because I was like I'm not gonna be able to get these so just thank you so so much if you're watching this uh, anyway so I have four of these so this video is going to be a first impressions video so I'm gonna unbox all of these shipper boxes and get the actual limited edition dolls out and we're gonna look at them I'm gonna talk about how I feel about them and how excited I am and stuff and then there's gonna be individual videos for each of these dolls that's gonna be an overview full review of the dolls out of box so um, I have no idea who's in each box so we're just gonna start so this is the first one so this is the first doll. There are two two packs and two single dolls. So those are um, the options. There's two larger boxes, but there's a there's some 17 inch dolls. We'll see. We'll see what they are. Um, and I'm just I'm so grateful because the resale value of these is already ridiculous. So I just figured I was gonna have to like write these off and just like pray for a miracle because I've had some really good um, Disney Ellie um deals before but these like d23 stuff they're so limited like some of these edition sizes i think one of them is 500 um which is annoying because some of these are like really anticipated releases um okay so i wonder who's in this box this is huge so i'm gonna venture to guess that this is either merida or giselle but i don't know Okay, this is Merida. Sorry, I can see her up top. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, so let's get this out of the box. I'm like nervous. I can see her a little bit up here, but like, okay, ready? <laughs> I've looked at a lot of pictures of these dolls, but like, hi. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> okay, so here is Merida, and she looks amazing. Her head is um, looking pretty high up so if I was leaving her inbox that would kind of bother me but she's coming out of there soon so don't you worry it's just gonna be in another video and this is for the 10th anniversary it says it right there I was worried that it wasn't actually for the 10th anniversary because it doesn't say it but it says it in there and then this is the new style of box so they have these doors I actually like if I was a box collector I would hate this because like the doors don't really stay open well that would that would bother me um but anyway there's the certificate I got number 907 I felt like one of the last ones um oh my god her dress is made out of like an amazing like crushed velvet material. Hold on, I'm gonna switch to B-roll so that you guys can actually see the this. cover off the box in a second, but this is what the like little, I guess, dust window looks like. It says Brave 10 here, my certificate. Cool, all right, I'm gonna take the little window off now. Let me real quick, you guys can see the box better. Pretty cool, it has like magnets that keep it in place. I just find that like the material they make these boxes out of, you see how, and this was really well treated and it arrived to me perfectly from shipment, but this material is like impossible to keep nice. Anyway, it says, celebrating 10 years of Pixar's Brave, Disney artists are proud to present this limited edition Merida doll. Merida dares to take aim and own her destiny. And while she's a champion of her fate, her strong ties to her family are what saves the day. Join our headstrong heroine with this keepsake, aiming for the hearts of fans and collectors alike. And then we get some French. All right, let me get the dust cover off real quick. Here's the retail. This doll is so impressive. I love the little braids they put in her hair, and her face looks so good. I like my original Merida, but this one, I, I just feel like looks a lot better. And her dress is made out of, like, a really nice crushed velvet material, and, like, wow. The bow is amazing, and look at the arrows with the leather quiver and all the little charms on it. And then her brothers. I think these are probably going to be exclusive to the D23 set. I'm wondering what the variations are going to be. Because, like, with with Vanessa, because this is my only experience with this. With Vanessa, it was, like, a necklace, a hairpiece, possibly, and then the shiny skin. But with Merida, like, I'm not sure what they could take away. 
Um, or maybe it's just gonna be a completely different outfit. I just, I don't know. Cause that was Ariel. They did like a pink dress one. But anyway, I'll show you on the front of the box. It says D23 variation. See? So some of them say exclusive and I'll show you that. And then some of them say variation instead. So I don't know. Um, but I'm in love with her and I'm so excited to get her out of the packaging. And um, whenever... I'm gonna film all these tonight, but whenever the video goes up, you'll get to see a comparison between her and my original Merida. I don't have the original original Merida, I have the blue dress two-pack one, but anyway. Oh my god, she's so much prettier in person. I just love Disney limited edition dolls. I know they're overpriced, like, I, I agree that they are, but like, they just, I absolutely adore them. Oh, these are metal in her hair. Gosh, so cool. Alright, so let's move on to the next package. Hi again! So the next package is this one. I don't know what one this is, but I know that it says 742 on it. So I got number 742 of whatever this one is. And that means that this one's edition size was a thousand, because I believe the all the sets but Hercules and Megara are out of a thousand. Um, but I could be wrong about that. We'll see. Um, oh, or this could be... There's another option of what you could get that has a edition size of 5,000. So we'll see. We will see. Um, okay. <gasps> okay, this is Giselle. Okay, so <laughs> this inside of this package is Giselle from Enchanted, and I'm so excited that she got a 17 inch doll. And I was very panicked about this particular doll because if she did not get a regular release, uh uh. Because um, my ultimate goal with the 17-inch dolls is that I would absolutely love to have one of each character. I'm, I'm doing okay at that goal. Like, I'd like to have at least one of each character, but obviously I'm happy to have multiples. Um, but Giselle was one of those ones where, like, if she was exclusive to D23, I would never be able to get her, you know? Um, that was my thought anyway. And I'm just so, so grateful to the Dolly Paints for helping me out with this because I was so, I was so panicked. And... Yeah, so let's let's see her because this, this was such an enormously like a huge favor. I I can't even I can't understate like or I can't overstate like how like helpful and like kind and generous this was to help me get these. Like <laughs> I'm so grateful. Um, all right, so inside of here is Giselle from Enchanted. I love this movie, and I love this character, and I love this doll, and look at this packaging. Man, I was planning to sell the boxes in hopes to recuperate, like, some money, but I don't want to sell this one. Oh my god. Okay, it says, Giselle is here to sweep you off your feet. In celebration of the 15th anniversary of Enchanted from 2007, this limited edition doll is our of our heroine who's on a quest to experience true love. On her journey to New York, she lets go of her fantasy world while remaining true to her co convictions. As she matures, Giselle stays in the real world, transforming into the woman she was meant to be. Sure to make a great addition to any collection, this keepsake is a must-have treasure. And then the retail cost for this one was 180 as well. So, I, God, I can't believe... I think this doll might be one of those Disney... Like, the rare Disney LEs where I'm like, this was worth the price. Um, just because I've seen pictures of her, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Make sure y'all don't get a glare, but I also want to see her. Oh my god. You look like a little... I mean, you look like a princess. You are one, but like... Oh my god, the butterflies on the dress are plastic and... Well, does this say... Uh-oh. That doesn't say variation. It just says D23 Expo. But I'm assuming that Enchanted 2 is going to get a 17-inch doll. Um, so... Oh my god. So she's going to be the one I open first, just so y'all know. Um... Let me turn the camera. So I think this doll is like classified differently than others. People have been calling this a platinum doll for some reason. I don't know because it's the same price as that one. But the box is really cool. Maybe that's why they're classifying it by the box shape. I don't know. Because like look how it comes out here. It's very interesting. I'm so excited to get her out of the box though. Look how beautiful this doll is. I'm so glad she got a good face y'all. Like I, I really really like the Midnight Masquerade one which was the 2019 D23 exclusive. And I have her, and I love her, but the eyebrow thing makes me so mad. And she only has it slightly. Like, she looks so much better. And her... I, I can't believe she's wearing this dress, too. So, so cool. And look at, like, the embroidery. 
the the plastic butterflies with rhinestones on them are what's like setting this oh my god i cannot wait to get her out of here hi baby and as you can see here so i wanted to show you why there's rumors that certain dolls are getting like regular releases and certain ones aren't and if it's gonna get a regular release it's gonna be a variation but again variation you see this sticker but then there's a completely different sticker here that just says d23 expo exclusive 2022 so i don't know I imagine they're going to make another Giselle. It would be strange for them not to, to be honest, especially with the movie coming out. But I don't know. Disney sometimes does, like, stupid things. Um, but anyway. Okay, so those are our two so far. So funny enough, the only two sets that are left are two packs. I just happened to open the two 17-inch um, dolls first. So now we're going to be moving on to designer dolls. All right, so now we're going to be unboxing this one. I think that this is the not D23 set and i'll show you what i mean by that um but it was like sold first at d23 but we i could be wrong I, I don't know but anyway let's get it out i'm so excited if this is the set i think it is oh my god but anyway i think i got number 304 possibly all right box over there okay it's so well wrapped okay yes okay so i have been dreaming of a true anna and elsa designer doll set or just designer dolls of them since forever. Um, they have designer dolls, but designer fairy tale is completely different than designer to me because designer fairy tale is just them in the movies. And these are still similar to the movie outfits, but if you guys haven't seen these dolls before, like get ready. Um, so these are the, and there's 5,700 of these. So this is a much bigger edition size and it's not D23 exclusive. I think they just wanted to like show it off at D23 and they decided to sell them there too. So this is just like an early release version. Probably all the early numbers are gonna be at D23 if I had to guess. Um, and these are based off of the concept art. So by Brittany Lee, um, and I love this concept art. I used to like in high school, I would just have like a gallery on my phone of this stuff and just scroll through it on the bus. Cause um, we didn't have unlimited internet so I couldn't use internet on the school bus <laughs> usually. So I would just have a bunch of stuff on my phone to entertain me. Anyway, um, Brittany Lee is a designer illustrator and paper artist who is currently a production designer at Walt Disney Animation Studios. Her design work can be seen in many films, including Moana, Frozen, and Frozen 2. Okay, so I know Brittany Lee in particular has not worked on like every single Disney princess movie, but I need her to give us a full line of princesses reimagined like this. Please, please name your price. I will pay it. Um, and the retail for this set is $300 which I was surprised by, um, but I didn't realize that they were actually going to be designers. I mean, I think they're designer dolls. I don't know. It just says collector doll set. I'm not really sure. I think maybe this is a new line. Please be a new line. Please be a new line and keep releasing things in it. Anyway, um, buckle up. Y'all are going to see them before me. Okay. <gasps> Hi. So Brittany Lee's art style has that like vintage kind of like pinup look to it. It's so beautiful the way the eyes look and th there there are not many dolls like this like that exist in this art style. There's a few like honestly you could argue that like the 60s Barbie is kind of in this style. Um, the early 2000s Ariel and Her Sisters set which is my ultimate holy grail in dolls like one of I have several Ultimate Holy Grails, but that's like one of the ones that consistently I have not been able to achieve any little piece of in my lifetime has been those. Um, and these just, as soon as I saw them, I like, my jaw was on the floor. I was like, what? <laughs> these were like tailor made for me. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera around so that you guys can get a better look at them because even though there's going to be a full review of these, um, I still want to show you them in like nice detail. So this is what the front of the box looks like. And you see how it doesn't say designer or limited edition. It just says, well, it says limited edition, but like these are called limited edition. Like that's their line name. But this says, oh my God, look, it's spelled wrong. <gasps> I love that. <laughs> anyway, um, it says collector doll set. That's like different. <clears throat> and then... Like, look at all the beautiful art. Because that's one of the coolest things about Frozen's, like, whole aesthetic is, like, all these amazing, like, patterns and stuff they use. And look how Anna's side of the box and Elsa's side of the box are different, but still have, like, similar shapes to it. It's so beautiful. And then the back of the box, you can see the retail for 300 
So again, these are actually going to be available for purchase widely. Um, although the edition size is, so that's pretty big, but for Disney, like this will sell out really, really fast if people like the dolls. Um, 10,000 will take months to sell out. Like 10,000 is too much, but 5,000 like actually might sell out, especially because the hype that they built from D23, it's pretty smart that they did that. And then the box is really cool. And there's these beautiful cards, or maybe these are, are there COAs for each character? Hmm. It doesn't have a number on it. I don't know. But anyway, just beautiful art. The, the, the COA is probably in the back of this box. Um, and then this is what the window looks like. I'm going to open the window now. Here's Anna and Elsa. And the faces. Oh my god. The first picture I saw of them, the faces were all you could like see super well. Like you could tell the outfits were nice, but like you couldn't see too much of it. But like, like I'm in heaven. These were created tailor-made just for me i'm kidding but like oh my god they're so gorgeous i just i love it so much i need this person to become like the head of every single doll company like these are the ultimate dolls for me i just love them so much and then they just have like hyper detailed elaborate versions of their original outfits like i have never held it a secret that i don't like anna's like travel outfit but like this i like it look at this like under like ooh, with all the puff balls that anna has and like there's a crinoline under here i can feel it amazing amazing i cannot wait to get these out of here also they have black stands which is quite different elsa's dress is pinned in here and then the embroidery on this i love the call to the frozen 2 design on the show yourself dress here please do a frozen 2 version Brittany lee best you're my best friend now right you're watching this please please i need show yourself elsa in like queen coronation on a please and like coronation on a coronation also like come on Come on. And I'm kidding, but like, these are the ultimate dolls. Oh my god. So amazing. I love that Elsa has this blue streak, and I think Anna actually doesn't have her blonde streak, because this must be from before she got it. And they're based off of these specific concept art pieces, I feel. Or maybe these are like, maybe these are recent drawings, actually, that are meant to like, encapsulate her concept art style. I don't know. But like, how did this become this? Um, unreal. Unreal actually unreal i can't wait to see elsa's shoes i'm very curious about that are they showing in this no so we don't know anyway <laughs> i love you i cannot wait to get these out of the package oh my god the little tassels amazing amazing dolls anyway sorry i just i love all of these but like these in particular are just so different and cool and i'm just so excited about them all right, let's move on to the last set. All right, so one more set. So we know what this one is. It is Hercules and Megara. This was the most limited of the dolls that were released at D23, at least I believe so. There are 500 of these sets. I cannot fathom why, because this is probably going to be the only release of a Hercules doll we're going to see in this century. Um, I don't know. I hope that's untrue, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, so before I was um contacted with like hey i'd be willing to do a pickup for you um from d23 i was kind of thinking about okay i'm gonna have to buy these at whatever resale value is so i narrowed it down to two dolls that i wanted and those two dolls were hercules specifically and this wasn't included because this isn't exclusive um this was just because somebody was helping me pick up so i felt like yeah i can get those um but anyway Giselle and Hercules were the ones that I picked and I was so gutted to be missing out on Ma Merida but I was like riding on the fact that people don't really like Merida so I thought maybe she'd be the cheaper one resale but uh, they haven't released a Merida doll in I mean since the original two so and I mean specifically D20 or like um, 17 inch Merida um, but they also just released the first designer Merida this year so it's not going so hot for Merida um, but anyway I thought I would have to buy them resale and I was like okay, I'm gonna have to pay scalper prices. I have to narrow it down. So I picked Giselle and I picked Hercules. So I'm really, really excited that I get to have this Megara doll because I didn't think I was going to because I thought even if I ended up with Megara, I would have to sell her just to make, like, make it make sense for me, I guess. Um, but 
I'm so excited and I'm so, so, so grateful and I cannot wait to see these. Um, you guys know that I'm not a big boy doll fan, but I love the Hercules movie so much and I actually have a Hercules doll and I really like him. Um, I like boy dolls, like I like the concept of boy dolls, but most boy dolls, the execution is off for me. But Hercules, I feel like in doll form, really looks like the character. And this is an updated version that looks even better. So, oh my god, this box is amazing. This is cool. This is one I actually don't want to unbox, but I'm going to. Um, okay, so we've got the I Won't Say I'm In Love set. It does say D23 Expo 2022, but it does not... Or sorry. <laughs> it says D23 Expo 2022 exclusive. It does not say variation will exist outside. I hope there will be one. Sometimes when they do a set like this, like, um... For example, Megara from Midnight Masquerade, they released a Playline Megara later. So it's possible we'll get a Playline Hercules. I really hope we do. Um, but anyway, you can see the gold foiling has Megara. And then the Grecian knots all over. And then we have Hercules. These are so cool. Oh my god. And it says, she won't call it love even if he will. Celebrate the 25th anniversary of Hercules 1997 with our iconic titular character and the damsel who doesn't need saving, Megara. This set includes our two favorite characters who team up to take on the flaming deity of the underworld, Hades. Sure to make a great addition to any collection, this doll set is legendary like our dynamic duo who goes on to prove love does conquer all. Speaking of Hercules, Midnight Masquerade actually did a regular release, not regular release, but you know, regular limited release, Her um, Hades doll. And I thought that was like, that was the coolest thing ever. That's one of my favorite, um, or that is my favorite boy doll by far out of any that I own. But like, that's one of the coolest dolls I think Disney has ever done. Um, but I was surprised they did Hades before they did Hercules from the Disney store because um, the Hercules dolls that existed in the past were um, Mattel. Anyway, let's see them. Oh my God. Okay, so here are Hercules and Megara. And Megara actually seems to have a different um, expression than my other one. So I'm really excited to compare them. And I will be comparing them in the follow-up videos to these. The order that I upload these in, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It'll just happen. I have a lot of videos and like things going on in my life right now. So I actually have like six videos pre-filmed and uploaded to my channel as of the time I'm filming this. And this is five more videos right, right here, right now. So, um, please be patient. Please understand. I can't upload more than once per day. It causes problems. So I, I, I will get them out in time. I promise. Oh, look, the muses. Yeah. So, um, speaking of the muses, now that they're here, um, somebody had asked me what, and I don't, speaking of the muses, actually, somebody had asked me, um, because I was saying that like several of these sets were like doll sets that were like I never thought this would ever happen um so somebody asked me like what's a what's a set that you would want to see like what's a doll set that you think would be really like it would never happen but if it did it would be like really exciting to you the muses from Hercules can you imagine how cool this set would be especially like in that same style as like these no specifically this style I have so many ideas write this down Disney almost there Tiana duh the fact that you haven't done that yet is really questionable and I'm side-eyeing you but you can make it right do it please um we have just ariel and her sisters but do it in le form but but in this art style um the muses from hercules really um these two would also look great in this art style you have a lot you could be doing with this Brittany lee situation anyway we're actually on mega and hercules right now and this is for the 25th anniversary there's a cute little thing here uh yeah let's let's turn the camera around so that you guys can see it so here's what the box looks like with the dust cover thing on and the certificate. I got number 393. By the way, don't show this in any kind of like straight way ever when you get something like this because if you do, um, people might use it to try to scam people. So just be careful with that. Anyway, there's the muses, absolutely gorgeous. But like, think about a set of these, like how cool that would be. And then this is what the box looks like closed. <laughs> I was using this to do my white balance, sorry. Um, D23 Expo sticker. And then you can see this gorgeous foiled Meg. And then back of the box. And then Hunkulies. All right, now let's take the dust cover off so that we can there show you the dolls. Are. So see how amazing Hercules looks? So cool. Oh my God, the cape. Crushed velvet again. Oh my God, the armor's actually metal. I mean, it's probably just a metal plated material, but like still, oh my God. And he does have a stain on his hand. Like out of the 500 of these that exist in the world, I got one with a stain. <laughs> I don't really care that much. And then the shoes, so cool. 
And then this. This is kind of just like flopped in here. I can't wait to get this out of here, but this is the type of material that pulls, so I'm gonna have to be really careful when I get it out. Um, oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I get to keep you, Megara. Wow, you're pretty. Beautiful. So Brett is here, as is um, our son. <laughs> um, so what do you think? Dolls. Let's check him out. Oh. I scared Ronaldo. What do you think? <laughs> hmm. Close inspection. You're a little toy reviewer too. You learn from your mama. What do you think of Merida? I like her. That is all. She has bears. That's her brothers. Ronaldo's purring so loud. <laughs> I like the quiver. Look, it's actually like a... It's probably pleather, but like... Yeah, I like all the... Is that like the... Like on the quilt? Yeah, exactly. That she destroys! Oops. I guess it's back together. I don't remember. What's your, what's, your, what's your rating of this one? I don't have a number rating. <laughs> it looks nice. I just I don't really care about that movie or that character. Well, I'm not a big fan of that movie, but I love Merida as a character. All right. What about, I know you like Hercules. Obviously a 10 out of 10. This, yeah, you like this one? <laughs> it's cool, huh? The box too. Look how cool it is. is. Imagine if they did it all set of them, but like based on that. Yeah. It's a really cool box. It's really cool. There's only 500 of this one, so this one is going to be a little bit gutting to open, but most people leave them in box anyway. Like This is so cool. Is that like particularly low? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds really low. The edition size... I feel like it's just like 2,000 or something. It goes from 5,000 to 10,000 ordinarily. Yeah. Um, that one's 5,700 because it's not D23. These are all D23. And these are 1,000 each. And then this is 500. Um, I don't know why they did that. They were like, let's release the only Hercules doll in this century and let's do it. Only 500 exist in the world. <laughs> but this is metal. Like actually metal. Actually metal. Wow. Well, it looks great. Yeah, I, I just really love he's his face. Than our Hercules. We'll have to look. I don't think he's I on my like shelf he's right now. Slightly larger. He probably is, but yeah, I'm excited. I, like the face. I know. I'm. I want to see if I prefer my other one or this one more. It's really cool. I like that this one has way more gold because I was worried that she was a little bit too similar to Midnight Masquerade because I didn't look too closely. But now that I have her, she's like very different, which is good because there's if you're gonna have two um, Megara. Designer dolls only. What number did you get? I think 393. It wasn't good. None of these numbers are good. Um, can you hold this? All right. All right. How do you feel about these ones? They're nice. You either like the faces or you don't. Do you not? I don't know. They're kind of weird. It just <gasps> doesn't look like them, so it's kind of weird. But it's the concept art. No, I get the reference. I get what it's referencing. I just think it looks weird. Some Disney tape. On my floor. Like Ben Drowned or something. What? No, it does not look like that. Yes. Like the Elegy of Emptiness yeah. statue? No, it doesn't. Like they've been turned into dolls or something. <laughs> and on the inside they're screaming. But they look so pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, bud. Just kidding, I didn't ask for your, your opinion. <laughs> Like it's strange, yeah, they're they're you, polarizing. If you like the face, that these are probably like the best ones ever. Oh yeah, that's how I feel. All right, Giselle. I've never seen this film. You haven't. But the dress is impressive. It's crazy. <laughs> the face sculpt is just a Disney face, so it's not really that interesting. Really, I think it is similar to Ariel's face, but that's how her character looks. So when I think like the generic Disney doll face. That's well, cool. the concept of this movie was supposed to be subversive of a Disney princess, so yeah. she was like the generic Disney princess at the beginning, but and it's all like very. The dress is crazy. I know. I'm so excited. She goes through New York wearing this. When she first gets to New York. Pretty normal New York, I think. <laughs> this doll is so crazy. See, but, like, I would understand if they only wanted to do 500 of this one because this dress is ridiculous. But, like, the Hercules one, I don't know. Do they do 500? No, this is 1,000. Oh. I'm so excited, though. But the new movie comes out around your birthday, so we need to watch the first one. They're making a second one. And um, Elsa is in it. Um, her, Idina Menzel is the antagonist. I don't know if she's going to count as an antagonist. We'll see. It'd be funny if it was as Elsa. <laughs> She'll be Elsa. But in the real world. Well, that's like, cool. That's, just, I, hope like, they make a, the I hope they make a doll of the Elsa one. 
Idina Menzel character. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Jodie Benson was also in the original, I'm pretty sure. The aerial voice. The original aerial voice. It's pretty cool. All right, which one's the best? That was Hercules. <laughs> you like I Merida, did, I though? I like that one, though. Better than Giselle? I just don't have any, like, context. I haven't seen the film, so... Well, you don't have to have seen it to think the doll's superior. I mean, superior. it's a very fluffy dress, but, like, this has a lot of pieces, and the body's cool, and I like the... The bears. Like the they, guys. like... They're heavy. Interesting. I cannot wait to unbox these. I'm gonna be unboxing these now, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you for telling us how you feel. <laughs> I I still don't know what my favorite one is, and I, I would feel evil if I picked the Frozen set because it's not actually D23 exclusive. But it's, I'm being my authentic self. No, so I'll have to unbox them and, like, spend time with them before I pick, like, a true favorite. But, like, this is just crazy because it's so different, I think, you know, the novelty of it. But also this is, like, my, like, holy grail art style to exist in doll form. Because the only dolls that I know of that have ever done this art style that weren't 60s Barbies or, like, some kind of vintage doll um, were the 2000s Ariel and her sisters set that were, like, pin-up gorgeous. Um, so this is, like, something I've been, like, fantasizing about forever, and I can't believe they actually what's, did it. What's weird to me is the art style is really only depicted in the face and nowhere else. Well, the the dresses are very different from the movie. Uh, the dresses look very impressive. That's my favorite They're part. They're so cool. My favorite part of the doll is the dresses. Here, the dresses are crazy. Yeah, pro people are probably going to buy them and just steal the dresses off. The, I don't really sense the them trying to convey the, the concept art depiction beyond the face. That's about it. Well, it's really just... And because of that, it looks very strange to me. I just love them so much. But if you like them... Yeah, I got you. Then, you know... I like that Anna doesn't have her blonde streak yet. It's either she you hasn't like been the shot. face or you don't. And this... that's, that's like the make or break. Wait, that means this scene is the scene right before she shoots her in the chest. What? She's wearing her winter outfit. She's wearing her Snow Queen outfit. Oh, okay. She doesn't have the blonde streak. That means it's like right before she shoots her in the chest. Like the moment. Yeah. <laughs> you can play out your favorite moments in Frozen. These goofy faces. <laughs> They're not goofy. <laughs> and then these guys. It's, it's like cold. You can. I really love the face. I just can't believe. I mean, Hades came out first and has way more dolls. I'm hoping that they do because this one's he's getting be tiny Hercules at some point, huh? Before he's buff. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. I would love that. I don't know if they do it in doll form. I'm sure they've done a figure of. Oh look, the the hair is like gold. It has like. Oh, is he a god? It has a gold has a... sheen. They never. That's you get gold hair when you does does he get that at some point? I thought he chooses not I to be a god. He, would... he leaves. But I swear. But he doesn't. But I remember they depict someone ascending and they get golden hair and golden eyes. But I don't remember. But then he turns it down and walks out. So, so you're don't... probably right. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminds me of. It's so cool though. And then I wish she wasn't wearing like a variation of original dress though, because how cool would it have been to do like a wedding type they of thing? Just throwing chains on dresses. Because <laughs> it's it's more. They just toss them on there. Yeah. Like there you go. Um. But this one says variation. So they're going to release a regular of her. But all these these ones are exclusive, exclusive. Okay. Um, and then this is a regular release set that I just got early at D23. But this is, they're going to do another one. But I'm very curious because, um, like, you know that uh, Ursula doll I have, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. I was worried you didn't know who Vanessa oh. The D20, there was a D23 version of that exact doll. And the only difference was sparkly skin. And the D23 one had two pieces of jewelry or something that the other didn't. So I'm very curious what they're going to take away from this doll. Or if she's going to be wildly different or what the deal is going to be. <laughs> Watch them just take the brothers away. She got the fur. She just killed the black bear. She's like... <laughs> her mom. <laughs> that's her mom. <laughs> no, there's an evil <laughs> Oh one. yeah, that's right. The evil one. Yeah, she does kill that. Yeah. She's just got, the, she got it on her coat. She killed the wrong one, though. What, up. <laughs> what was it? More do. I don't remember his lore. <laughs> it was cool. I really don't like her face, but that's just the art style. Well, it probably looks better than the other doll to no, you. No, I just mean, like, the giant round face. I like but, it. But, like, that's just... How, but it's because she's just, Pixar, yeah, it's so it's awkward in the lineup. In the movie, yeah. so cool. But, I honestly like, don't I mind like it, but it. I think it's because I'm used to... I wish they would do more roundness for Rapunzel to make Rapunzel look more like Rapunzel. All right, friends, so that's it. Um, Brett just happened to get home as I was filming this, so we got some of his opinions on it. This is just fun. I mean, I hope it was fun for you. 
sometimes I just want to sit and chat about them. Um, and now I get to unbox them all. I'm so excited. I can't decide who's going to be first, but it's, it's Giselle. I decided. <laughs> um, I'm really, really, I, I just, I can't thank you enough, the Dolly Paints, seriously. Um, I don't know if I should use your name. It is on your Instagram, but like, um, but like, seriously, thank you so, so much for the opportunity to buy these at a reasonable cost. It means so much to me and I'm so grateful and thank you to my mom for helping me out. Um, I, I'm so excited. These are amazing and they're going to be like absolutely cherished in my collection. My Disney, my Disney Ellie's like, I love them so much and they inspire me so much. I used to do like so much photography with them and I haven't done it as much anymore because my camera broke. Um, but I really want to get back to that and hopefully these will like kickstart that for me. I'm, I'm just so excited and I can't wait to share them with you guys out of box, full detail, fun. Um, and yeah, I'm really curious again to see the variations because there was two D23 dolls that I did not get. I didn't get Jasmine. I didn't get Snow White. Um, Jasmine was the, I, I like Jasmine. I really hope she gets a, um, like regular release. And then Snow White, we already have seen the regular release and sure it's like inferior, but I don't care enough to be honest. If there was like a, Tiana set where there was like a far superior one and then like a regular release I would go for the far superior one for her but like for most it's like not that big of a deal to me but I had the opportunity to get Merida so I jumped on that opportunity um but yeah I'm just so excited and um I think this year is going to be the end of this year is going to be brutal with Disney releases because of what we've already seen at D23 ordinarily D23 is like a taste of what's actually coming um in like sh regular shop Disney so a little nervous but i'm very very excited and um with ultimate princess celebration ending i'm really wondering if they're gonna do a designer line for 2022 or if they're just gonna skip this year because ultimate princess went from 2021 to 2022 like i think the last one is coming this month or next month um anyway that's it for all this time thanks so much for watching bye